Okay, so now we've got lab two. If we remember back to lab two, the important parts are finding K and pH values. So if we go through this lab, it will give you some basic equations on how to find those values. Uh, so for example, if we have this, uh, this um, chemical equation, our equation for finding Ka is simply going to be the products over the reactants. Now if we go over to our pH values a little bit further down, we get two equations, um, which is really just one equation rearranged, um, and that is how to find the pH. So we are going to work on this problem. So we are trying to prepare, a, or we're preparing a buffer um, by dissolving 0.3 grams of potassium formate in 25 milliliters of 0.15 formic acid, um, which is the acidic part of the solution. Um, and the pH is measured at 3.75, so calculate the, t the Ka value. Okay, so in order to do this, the first thing is we always want to convert into moles. So we are going to start off with 0 0.3 grams of our substance and we're going to do the railroad tracks, which if you are not familiar with how to do this process, I highly recommend that you get very familiar with it. Um, it's extremely important and will help you throughout the rest of the calculations. Okay, so now the um, molecular weight for KCHO2, which was given in our problem right here, is about 84 grams per mole and so the reason we want grams on bottom is because we want these grams to be able to cancel out. So we've got 84 gram, uh, grams per mole so those grams can then cancel out and that will give us essentially our unit in moles. So that's telling us how many moles of this substance we have. Okay so that answer is then going to be equal to a 0 0.00357 moles and that is going to then be according to our problem where did our problem go? Here we go um, it's prepared in 25 milliliters of this formic acid. So what is our concentration? We then have to go ahead and divide that by point to, or by 25 li, uh, milliliters, which if we remember 25 milliliters to convert into liters, since there's a thousand, we just take the position of the period and we move it over three spots. So one, two, three which means we need another zero and another period. So we divide by 0 0.025 liters and that gives us our molarity which is 0.143 moles per liter or 0.143 molar. Okay, so that gives us our concentration of our uh, KCHO2 and now to find our pH, or to sorry, to find our pKa, we simply use the equation that was given um, in the lab manual. So this is the equation that we're going to use. We're going to use then pH equals pKa plus the log of the base over the acid. And we simply then have to plug in our numbers in here in order to solve for pKa. So we know that the pH is 3.75. So we get 3.75 equals, and we're trying to solve for pKa. And for this log, we're just going to simply have the uh, base over the acid. So we just found our base, our KCHO2. And the reason that's our base is because it doesn't have that, um, that hydrogen, that extra hydrogen. So 
this guy with the red hydrogen is going to be our acid. So we're then going to just put the log of 0.143 divided by 0.15, which is our concentration of our actual um, acid. And then we just go ahead and rearrange for this equation, and that should give us our pKa value. So in other words, what we can do is we can say uh, pKa is equal to 3.75, and now we're just going to subtract log on both sides. So all I did was I just subtracted this log on both sides, um, this log right here minus the log of 0.143 over 0.15, which is essentially going to give us a pKa of 3.77. But now, we do not want the pKa. What we actually want is the Ka value. So if we go into our lab manual, I believe there should be a, yep, there we go how to find our Ka equation. And all of these equations will be in the back of your practical. So don't feel like you have to memorize these equations. As long as you know how to use them and understand them, you should be in good shape. So if we got 3.77 for our pKa value, and we are given here that Ka is equal to 10 to the negative pKa, then Ka is simply going to be 10 to the negative 3.77 and that's our problem. So let's now work on this next problem.